Hey Brats, welcome back to the channel and today we are finally going to link up in our Oculus Quest to our gaming PC, see how it works for gaming and thanks to AMVR we're going to be doing it with 16.4 feet of cable and the cool thing about this cable it also includes a special clip that attaches directly to the Oculus Quest headband on top makes it easy to get that thing hooked up and stay in play. I would say let's unbox this but let's unbag it. The AMVR warranty card, we like that they give us a warranty, thank you. A simple plastic clip here. Doesn't look like it was 3D printed. This looks like this was made by a regular manufacturer. And then this nice long cable. It's got a good end that makes it go into the Quest. And this hooks on top, runs that through. Let's take a little look at it here. I've never been good with twist ties. Story time. So my brother, when I were young, we, when he and I were younger, we used to volunteer at a food pantry to help people. But one thing that we did, we were young, we were like preteens. We got to twist tie a whole bunch of bags of bread. And man, we, I think we took out our anger and frustration on every zip tie we'd ever had and got back at everyone else by making the most complicated ties that day. So we'd put them around, we'd like twist them four times one way, stop it, twist it back the other way. Just made these things the hardest to open twist ties. Somehow passing on the suffering in our minds was getting revenge on all the people who had done it to us with the zip ties. I don't know how that works, but that happened when we were kids. All right, we have got the Oculus Quest right here. This clip is just supposed to be able to hook on top. And it hooks on rather nicely, I must say. If you push it back to where it's not over the Velcro part, it seems like it's gonna stay really stable. So that when you plug this piece in to the side here, Instead of having this tug down on the side when you're using it in pull, instead of putting more stress potentially on the internals, this is gonna go up over the top, hook right to the top, and then put the least amount of, hopefully, pressure and pain on your head while you're playing with it. It's gonna be pulling directly from the top middle instead of from the side. So I like that feature. So I imagine if you had this hanging down, you would still notice it depending on what side it's hanging off of. But if you have it suspended up like I would, that's gonna be a lot nicer. You're still gonna feel it wiggling around on top of your head, but it's not gonna be enough to really break your immersion or hurt you at all. It is thicker than I expected. That's a pretty beefy cable, probably to help make sure you get all your data transfer and everything you need. So that's probably a good thing, but it's definitely not a thin little nice VR cable. So we're gonna take this over to the PC. I'm gonna show you how to get Link set up, what it looks like, and then we'll play a little bit around on the PC, see what things look like through the eyes of the Quest instead of the Rift S that we're used to. All right, so as far as linking the Oculus Quest, um, we already have Oculus software installed on our system. So if you didn't have that, you can go to oculus.com slash setup. It goes to get started in VR. We want to down download the Rift S software actually for this because whenever you plug in your Oculus Quest into a PC with the link cable, it's gonna act like it is a Rift. It's gonna treat it just like a Rift. So I'm gonna take the other end of this USB. And I'm gonna plug it into a USB 3 slot. One thing that I do wanna point out here, I did say that this put like, cable was really thick. It's actually the same thickness as an original Rift cable. So it's the same size as the original Rift, which was a thick cable for VR. But just so you know, it's not crazy unusually thick. It is a regular VR cable thickness. I'm gonna plug this in and just to keep from confusing the computer too bad I'm going to unplug I'm gonna unplug my rift I'm gonna open up oculus software I'm gonna add a headset I'm gonna add a quest plug the USB-C end in and make sure to plug the other end of the cable into a USB 3 port all right that is plugged in and working. It is so hard, my microphone is like right in my way, but I have a cat on my lap, so I'm struggling to do any of this right now correctly. So we're gonna continue. Check your cable connection. Make sure it's compatible, continue. Download Oculus Link Beta Setup Complete. You can now access Rift apps by enabling Oculus Link Beta when your Quest is plugging your PC. Move to the center of your play area and put on your headset to continue in VR. Cat, you're making this hard here. I'm gonna try not to punch the microphone here while trying to set this up with a cat. Stop, 
Stop. Stop. Enable. Enable. Create a new guardian. Cat! Oh my goodness. Make sure he's touched the floor. Okay. And now there's nothing exactly for you guys to see what I'm seeing in the headset, but basically we're just going through guardian setup. It's asking me to connect these to the floor. I can actually see my cat doing this, which is kind of funny. Okay. And so now we should be able to access any of our usual Rift apps on this with our link cable. Cat, you are so annoying. All right, and now we are in Google Earth. Google has a lot of anti-nausea things here. So this right here is somewhere I used to walk up to when I lived in Wailuku on Maui because this is the Iao Needle Park. And it, it was a hot and humid walk. User uploaded 360 photo that they put in here. This says there's no other but connected photos nearby. So. so that was the visitor center. So the road leads down, down, down. Yeah, I walked up this road a couple times. It is a long walk from where I was at. And this vacant building, <laughs> I lived in a room up here. I rented a room for two months when I first moved to Hawaii. And this whole business that I was renting above from was actually a front for what was going on here. So I was renting a room by the month. I didn't know they also rented these rooms by the hour. So that was really sketchy and quite a surprise when I found that out. But I very quickly found an apartment and moved out of here as quick as I could because the cops were there a lot. It was just crazy. absolutely awesome if you haven't checked it out I mean look at this you can fly over you can see the ocean there must have been a cruise ship in here when these photos were taken as you can see this cruise ship here and it actually I mean the photos turn out pretty good to where you can really see this thing quite well and then this is the harbor which is not a pretty place nobody really likes the harbor but then I can do this I can grab the sky and I can change the time of day I can look up at the nighttime sky. I can see this in the nighttime scene. Google Earth is phenomenal. I highly recommend it. So surprisingly easy to set up an Oculus Quest with a link cable. This link cable works great. I mean, it's hard to really put it to the test and say, oh, would it, would it work well? But the reason to get it is that clip right there. That makes such a difference not having to have this thing hanging out of the side of your face and pulling all over the place. So thank you again to AMVR for sending that one to us. That's really cool. Let me know if you have a link cable you like. This one's over 16 feet long too, which is awesome. Tons of room to move around. Let me know if you have one you like, but I will see you in another reality. I want to say the biggest ever thank you to our now four patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, Fred Nepotebo, Ege Karatash. Thank you so much, all of you.